Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm happy. It might sound strange to just say, Hey, everyone, I'm happy, but, but I am. We all have issues, we all have flaws, we all have things we could work on, we're all human. And accepting ourselves is a really important thing. If you don't accept yourself, it's going to be kind of hard to be happy. You kind of have to make a choice to accept yourself. You have to make a choice to be happy to some degree. I mean, when you look at, you look at some people that are rich, they have just about everything, and some of them are some of the most miserable people out there. Look at some of the musicians who have killed themselves. They were on the top of their game, and they committed suicide. Why? Because they, they weren't happy. Some people think that you can get happiness from things you buy. It doesn't really work that way. There's a certain amount of happiness that comes from within. For me, I, for so long, as one of the things that sent me into a bit of a depression was for so long I had sort of based my self-esteem on my appearance. And, you know, I liked being big. It was my thing. And then I eventually found out I couldn't do that anymore and, well, still live, you know. I, I was going to die if I kept up my the, the patterns I was. And uh, it took me quite a while to, to get back into feeling all right about myself. And it really, it's been just this week that it's really kicked into place. And then I realized, hey, I've, I, I have to choose to be happy. There was a period several years ago that I that I realized this for for a period of time, but uh, I lost it, and it went back into the uh, the whole appearance thing. There's a song by Pharrell Williams called "Happy." I believe it was featured in Despicable Me. It's from 2013. In 2014, I lived in an, uh, I lived in a, in a different sort of living scenario, and there was some, there was a group of people there. That, well, there are some stories that can be told, but uh, one of the main people there was trying to show me this that song, and trying to say, "Hey, this this song makes me happy. This song is is." the essence of, of what I make my life. And at the time, I took it as a message of him saying, oh, well, I'm happy, you're not, you loser. And that wasn't what he was trying to say, but that's how I took it. And, uh, man, I wish I would have taken, I wish I would have understood his message earlier, but, uh, Yeah, you've got to accept yourself to some degree. Flaws and all. And that doesn't mean that you stop working on yourself. You know? Then for a while, I, you know, be, when, when I lost all the weight and my appearance was quite different, I started trying to base my happiness on YouTube. My, that was a mistake. Then it was then it's all a matter of trying to be what everyone else wants you to be. That's not a way to live. That's awful. I was I was continually judging myself for simply being liberal. You know, I don't one of the the key the the cornerstone. Is that the right word of one of the main elements of being liberal, as far as I'm concerned, is not going with our gut instinct about people based on stereotypes. And you got to use your brain to, to, get, to, to look past these 
gut instincts that you have. About things that people have no control over, you know? I mean, if it's something someone has control over, you know, that's a, that's a different story. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to judge someone who, who, who pushes out hateful messages. Yeah, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to be judgmental of that. I'm not going to be tolerant of intolerance. That's stupid. You know, but when it comes to things that people don't have any control over, yeah, it's, it's foolish to be, to be judgmental of people over those things. Are there people that, that are reactionary against what they perceive as hate from, hate from other people? Yeah, there are, there are people that, that take things too far. There are people that say, oh, straight white Christian men are the, are the cause of all of the world's problems. Whiteness is a problem. It's just like, okay, no, that's, that's stupid. That's a, that's a dumb message, you know? You're being just as judgmental as the people that you're complaining about. You know, yeah, it's it, it can go too far. And I definitely have a problem. I, I struggle to not judge Bible-based religions. I struggle with that because I was so hurt by, by Bible-based religions. You know, I, I got taught the, the, the awful concept of hell at a very early age. And I essentially got taught that my own thoughts will make me burn in hell for eternity. Then, of course, as a teenager, I get taught, a late teenager, I get taught that, oh, my attractions to men will make me burn in hell for eternity. You know, I, uh, the times that I've come the closest to suicide have been triggered by religious views. Bible-based religious views. Yeah, so I have a hard time letting go of my hatred of Bible-based religious views. It's hard for me. Some people it, it works out for. I, I, I must admit, I don't understand why anyone gay would, would try to connect with it. I don't get it at all. It, to, to me, it seems like there'd have to be a certain amount of self-hatred to connect with that. My hatred of Bible-based religions is probably something I need to let go of. I need to let go of that hate. If I'm expecting other people to let go of their hate, I should probably let go of that hate as well. So, anyway, I guess I don't know what where more to go with this, so I'll just end the video. But... It's really nice to, to finally be all right with myself again. It's good to know that I can be happy. There was quite a period of time over this past year that I, I didn't think I would ever be happy again. It's just nice. Anyway.